Hello friends and welcome to a new playlist. In this series we are going to build a simple application using Laravel, Vue.js and Inertia.js and we are not going to use a starter kit. I watched a few videos on YouTube or other platforms that they talk about Inertia and Vue.js but all of them use a Laravel a starter kit whether to be Breeze or Jetstream and I think that's a bit confusing because we wouldn't learn how to set up a fresh project by ourselves. Now we will use a starter kit but first we want to learn how to set up the project ourselves so when we do use a starter kit we know what's going on behind the scenes. So the tools we are going to use in this series are Inertia.js, Laravel, Vue.js, Vite for our asset manager and of course Tailwind for our styles. So let's get started by creating our Laravel project first. You could either use the Laravel installer or the composer command, which is easier. And if you haven't watched my Laravel series, we go through installation in the beginning of that series. So please watch that one. Let's go to our terminal and I'm going to run Laravel new and give our application a name. And I'm gonna call it Laravel Inertia View. So we don't want to use any starter kit, no starter kit. Then we don't need testing and Git repo. And for the database, we can use SQLite. In the Laravel series, we used MySQL, but just for the sake of learning, let's use SQLite, which is very very similar to MySQL. When that is done, we want to CD into that project and then install Vue.js as our second step. We want to say npm install Vue at latest. All right, so that is for Laravel and Vue. We can open it in our VS Code. So next we want to go to the Inertia.js documentation and then under installation, we have server side and client side. So let's start with server side and we want to scroll down and install the PHP dependency first using this composer command. So I'm gonna copy it and paste it in our terminal, then go back to the documentation. And the next step is to create our root element. So Inertia by default would look for a document called app.blade.php for our root element. So we can create this in our project and then we need to add these three directives in that root document. So let's go to our project and under resources views, we have the default welcome blade view. We can change the name on this one to app.blade.php then get rid of everything within it then create our HTML boilerplate and I'm going to get rid of the title we will include that dynamically later on and first we want to use our Vite directive to reference our JavaScript file so it's inside resources JS and then app.js then we want to use the inertia head directive and within the body tags we want to use the inertia directive itself and I'm sorry I made a mistake here this should be resources alright so that is for our root element and we can close it let's go back to the documentation next we need to create create the handle inertia requests middleware by using this command. So I'm gonna copy it, go back to the terminal and paste that artisan command, which will create this middleware for us. And we can check it out later. For now, let's just follow the steps for setting up our project. So after creating this middleware, we need to register it as a web middleware in our app.php, which is inside the bootstrap folder. So in our project, we have this bootstrap folder and then app.php and this middleware function. We can grab the middleware instance and use the web function that we can append a new middleware to our web middleware. And the one we want to append is handle inertia requests and make sure we use the class properly. And of course it needs to be imported up here. And that's it for the configuration or registering the middleware. Next we have creating responses. So we don't want to get into details for this part, but you notice here, instead of using the view function to return a blade view, we are using the inertia render function to return a Vue.js component or a React.js component. So if we go back to our project in our web.php, we have this default route, which is still using that view function. We can change this to inertia render and this would look for a view component since we are using Vue.js and for now let's just leave it like this we will come back to it in a moment but we need to pass a view component here so let's go back to the documentation we are done with the server side we want to go up then click on the client side then start by installing the dependency for our Vue.js so let's copy this command paste it in our terminal and when that is done we need to initialize our inertia app using this block of code. So I'm just going to copy all of this, go back to our project, open app.js, then paste that here. And at first it might be overwhelming, but basically we are just creating 
an inertia app and within that we have options for example we have this resolve option that would resolve the directory for our view components in this case inertia is going to look inside a pages folder then the name of the component which is dynamic of course then the extension which is going to be view since we are using view so you notice in the documentation we have different clients and if you click on react for example this would change to JSX. So if you were going to use React.js, for example, this is going to be quite similar. You just have to select React instead of Vue.js or, or Svelte or Vue 2 for some reason. Anyway, this option would resolve the directory and component names. That means we need to create a folder with this name inside our JS folder, which we will do in a moment. And then we have the setup option that would create our view app within it. And remember, by default, it would look for an app.blade.php. So we don't need to change anything here. We just have to create this pages folder inside our JS folder. So let's do that now. And since we are here, let's create a view component so we have something to return. And I'm going to call it home.view. And within that, let's just have a simple template that says hello. All right, we can save our app.js and go back to web.php. In this render function, we can now pass that home view we just created. And we don't need to say go inside, for example, example js folder and then home.view because we are using this resolve option we don't need to pass anything but the name of the component all right let's go back to the documentation and see what are the next steps if you scroll down they just explain if you are using vite you can do this or if you are using webpack this is another approach so we don't need to change anything since we are using vite and that's pretty much what we have to do so let's try to serve our application and see what we get php artisan serve and then let's open a new tab npm run dev and everything seems all right for now let's go back to the browser and go to localhost and we get this error that says we need to install another plugin that belongs to Vite since Vite is our asset manager so let's go back to terminal open a new tab and run npm install vite.js plugin view now when that is done we need to actually tell vite that we are using view so let's open our vite config file and in this plugins array we can add view and invoke it using this parentheses and of course we need to import it from the package we just installed so let's say import view from vite.js and then forward slash plugin view and in fact this can be found inside the vite documentation under plugins there it is and you notice our website was okay, but we are getting this at inertia. And that's because in our app that blade, I made a typo inertia. And now we should see that text hello. All right, so that's our setup. As the last step for this video, let's just install Tailwind. And we want to go to this website, copy the commands and just paste it here. And while that is running, I'm going to copy these directories and back to our project. We should have Tailwind config. There we go. And paste it inside the content array. Then let's open our app.css so we can paste these directives. So we did this so many times, I'm sure you are already familiar with this part. Now to tell our app to use this CSS file, we can go to our app.js and just import it up here. So we need to go up one folder, then CSS, then app.css. So if we go back to our website, Tailwind classes are already applied. So that's it for the setup, guys. In the next video, we are going to talk about pages and go through this list as we learn about inertia.